This is the best early Duralium farm in Lords of the Fallen, and will allow you to upgrade your weapons all the way to plus 9 before reaching the first beacon. As usual, useful timestamps can be found in the video description. To start, go to the Forsaken Fen Vestige. Before beginning this farming loop, we will first need to open up the nearby shortcut. To do that, head into the Fen following the torches. A short distance in, you should see a large route leading up to the shortcut back to the Vestige. Once that's done, we can start on the actual farming route. Rest at the Vestige, then quickly go through the shortcut door and defeat the Shuja Warrior. Next, shift to the umbral and climb up the ladder that appears nearby. Down this path, there is one Shuja that must be defeated and another two that are optional. These enemies have a chance of dropping small Duralium fragments, which can be used to upgrade weapons to plus two at the blacksmith. If you don't have the blacksmith unlocked, I have a separate guide showing how to do that, which I will link near the bottom of this video's description. Getting back on topic, use the Umbral exit point, then break through the wooden debris to get at one of two Holy Bulwark enemies that are along this farming route. These big guys have a chance to drop large Duralium shards, which can be used to upgrade weapons from plus 6 to plus 9 at the blacksmith. There is also one of several avowed soldiers which have a chance to drop regular Duralium nuggets. These can be used to upgrade weapons from plus 3 to plus 5 at the blacksmith. Between these three enemy types, the Shuja, Avowed, and Holy Bulwarks, you can farm the three different types of Duralium needed to get a weapon from base level all the way to plus 9. Ahead, there is a broken bridge. To cross it, get near the edge and block or avoid the two shots from the archer on the other side. Then, quickly pull out your Umbral Lantern to safely cross the gap. If you go left up ahead, you'll find three more Avowed enemies, in case you're trying to farm regular Duralium Nuggets. But for just getting large Duralium, go right and then left up the mountain path. Near the top, there is a second Holy Bulwark enemy, and for some reason he has less health than the first one. All that's left is to go the rest of the way up the path, defeat one more avowed enemy, then head to the nearest vestige, which is the Lookout Vestige. From there, we can fast travel back to the Forsaken Fen Vestige and start the process over again. Now, none of the enemies along this farming route are guaranteed to drop Duralium, and it took me about 2 hours of farming to get my own weapon of choice to plus 9. That being said, there are other benefits to farming this route. The amount of XP or vigor you get is pretty good, and I got from around level 60 all the way to level 72 at the same time that I was getting the Duralium. In addition, the enemies can drop several different armor sets, weapons, and useful consumables, such as Brio Stone Pears, Ammunition Pouches, Blood Cures, and Minor Holy Salts. Also, it's a pretty enjoyable farming route, there is no backtracking, and it provides enough variation in gameplay to hone your skills and keep from getting bored. Finally, I want to acknowledge that this route, and specifically those Holy Bulwark enemies, can be pretty daunting to tackle especially if you are low level and don't have upgraded weapons. That being said, their attack patterns are fairly simple and easy to counter once you've fought them a few times, and they will get easier as you level up your character and your weapons. If you have any questions, you can reach out to me in the comments where I'll do my best to help. If you want to see more great guides, you can head over to my channel, and if you're new, consider subscribing. You're helping me feed my cat, her name's Marshmallow.
Have a great day if you're here today. Have a great Saturday. And as always, thanks for watching.